All right, let's talk about MinMax when we can use it with auto fit and auto fill. So I've opened up my MinMax start. This is in the 13 using MinMax for responsive grids. And for me, this, this sort of combo of using auto fit and auto fill as well as MinMax, it has actually replaced a lot of media queries that I previously had written because it sort of is just responsive by nature. So we'll turn on the dev tools here. I'll make that black. And then well, let's take a look at this, this 150 pixels here. What if it was 100 pixels? Uh, we run into some issues here where the, the content starts to spill out. So we don't really want to have to uh, figure out how wide our columns should be. They should just sort of flow as wide as they, they need to be. So what we can do is replace that with a min max. And then what we can do is we tell it two things. I, I'll give you a dollar if you can guess what they are, the minimum and the maximum uh, that the uh, the track will be. So in our case, we'll say uh, minimum 150 pixels. That's as small as they could possibly go. And a maximum, I like to do one FR, and meaning that at, at a max, they will be the entire width of the, the grid. So give that a save now and watch what happens to these items as we uh, get smaller. So here we go, get smaller, getting smaller. And you see that they start to wrap onto the next line because at a certain point, they just don't fit and they allow themselves to wrap. And at a certain point, they will just become one entire uh, stack column of uh, values rather than the four or the five that we had. And as you get bigger, you see that it will start to add more. So that's great because we don't have to explicitly tell it how many columns we want. It will just figure it out given that we have the min and the max. Now this is using auto fill, um, kind of a neat thing if we change it to auto fit, this is probably what you'll be using more likely. Which, what it will do is it will then um, not give us that extra space. So let me go back to auto fill. You see that it will just uh, I have four items, so it will just take up the first four and continue to make them. I'll leave them this this big. So we have nine tracks here. If I change that to auto fit, you'll see that it will just make uh, those four tracks that we actually needed and stretch the uh, items inside of those tracks to, to fit. So that's really, really nice because now watch it. It will always look perfectly clean, but as I run out of space, it will still wrap itself around as we need. So auto fit and auto fill combined with min max, that's something we're gonna be using quite a bit when we get into the real world examples. Sort of in the same vein of min max, though not direct re directly related, is the fit content function in CSS. So let's just comment this out and let's make a bunch of uh, columns that we have. Grid template column and it's GTC. I don't know why I've been trying to type it manually all this time. GTC tab will, will get you what you want. And let's say 150 PX four times over. One, two, three, four. Good, that will give us four columns that are 150 pixels each. However, if I change the first one to auto, what will happen is it will just take up uh, that remaining space that it has in here uh, after we've then done it. And actually what's kind of neat is if, if you resize it, you'll see that it will also uh, get smaller as we run out of room. Now, what we can do instead of using auto is use the fit content function because sometimes you may be telling yourself, mm, that's good, but it's a bit too big, especially uh, if these were getting even smaller. So we can replace that with fit content and you can give it what's called a clamp value, the max width that, or a max height if it was a row that this thing should go to. So let's say, okay, I want it to be auto, but um, I don't want it to go more than, let's say 100 PX. And then that will clamp it at 100 pixels wide and then leave that extra space uh, just open to you. So fit content, I don't use that all that often, but yeah, sometimes you run into some um, edge case scenarios and just know that that might be a solution to uh, your, your sizing needs.